it was a turbulent start for Diablo 4 on Steam Deck, but it is actually up and running on Steam OS. This is directly through the Battle.net app through one of our previous installs, and you can check out the guide for that in the description below if you haven't already installed Battle.net. Now this did have to have a couple of extra steps and I will also walk you through those, but as you can see it does actually play extremely well and it looks absolutely incredible on the Steam Deck as well. If you tried to run this with the Battle.net from our normal installation you probably would have got this no GPUs found error and none of the newer Protons seem to work with this, but if you actually use one of the older versions of Proton, specifically GE Proton 727, and apparently 6.3 works as well, but 727 is the one that we used. It does give you an error as you launch saying that the GPU is not supported. And when you press OK on this, you'll get a gray screen for a little bit, but then the game does boot up. Likelihood is you are going to hit a queue, but we did wait it out and we did manage to get some gameplay for you and some good testing at that. So the earlier stages of this game are a little bit more optimized than other areas of the game. So it is a little bit deceptive until you hit the main first town. The performance of this is absolutely rock solid. It does sit around six frames per second for a good 90% of the time with a few dips down into the 50s in the low settings. But unfortunately, as soon as you actually hit one of the main towns, then that optimization problem really comes in. You get tons of loading stutter and it really is a bit jarring. This just seems to be a problem around the towns in general, but it's really apparent on the Steam Deck and it's really, really annoying. And this is an early beta, so we do expect some of this to get worked out. But the settings that we were running here on the Steam Deck is the pretty much the low settings. We didn't have Fidelity FX on originally, but putting the Fidelity FX Super Resolution to, to balance did really help with the battery drain overall. So low quality preset with FSR2 on balanced is definitely a good way to play. Didn't really notice a huge amount of difference in the quality, but I did notice a big difference in the power draw of the battery and those temperatures as well, as you can see. Before I switched it over, it was around the 80 and 90 degrees on the temperatures and it was sitting around the 28 watts on power draw as well. But once we switched it into FSR2 mode, this was much better and it did cool down somewhat. Here it is after around 10-15 minutes on FSR2 and you see that power draw down under 20 watts and our temperatures were also back under the 80s as well. So it was much more stable. It did feel like it was going to overheat and I was getting some extra stutter when I didn't have FSR enabled. So that's definitely something to look out for. One of the other things to note is we, we do have the UMA buffer set to 4 gig, especially useful for navigating the Battle.net launcher in general. If you don't know about the UMA buffer fix, then I'll also put a link to that in the description below. So make sure you've got the 4 gig UMA buffer set and Proton 7.27 and you're going to have a a fantastic time in Diablo 4 if you can get through the waiting times. Now as this is such an early beta we do expect to see a lot more optimization and we can pretty much place a bet that glorious egg roll is going to find whatever fix was in 727 and put it in later GE protons so that we don't have to go back so many versions and get the benefit from the newer versions as well. Let us know in the comments below if you're diving into Diablo 4 or whether this has changed your mind or whether you're picking it up or not. I'll leave you with a little bit more of the gameplay here without me talking so you can get a better feel for the gameplay and performance. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the video.